Hey, young man, how you doing? Hi. Hey, um, I just wanted to how ask you. How are you enjoying the course? I, I'm really, I'm trying to really suck everything you're, 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 you're telling us. Um, I have a question for you. Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm not that young anymore, so I don't know. What do you know mean? How... Wait a minute, wait a minute. How old are you? 47. I'm, I'm 56. You can't tell a 56-year-old no, 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 no. man that no, you're I'm not saying, young anymore. <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, um, you know, uh, I totally agree with you. I mean, I, I only have a high school diploma. Um, like, like you, I don't know, uh, just reading by, your, by reading your book, I as well. My parents were never around, so I just, I just barely made it through school. I never really tried. Had, showed look, it look into the camera. Look directly into the I camera. Never, and talk to I, me. I, I don't need the mic. Up. It's okay. I, I, I never put any effort in school. Um, I oh, just, bring the mic. Now I can't hear you. <laughs> I always just um, somehow slid by um, and got my, I don't even know how I got my high school diploma, but they gave me one. <laughs> I was never in school. Um, so I never had much interest. But I totally agree with you. Uh, as, as I got older, I, I have I have a high school diploma, but I, is there any way that you think they're gonna let me um, get into like the GED program just so I can brush up on my? Because I really agree with you as far as I, I need to brush up on my mathematics um, and and my vocabulary, which is very very weak, um, to success in anything in life, um, in business wise, uh, wherever life takes me. So. Would they allow me to take a uh, brush up on my um, stuff like that? I mean, just get into a GED program, even though I have my high school diploma. I'm going to give you a little secret, my friend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is go get the GED book and work through it yourself. You don't need the certificate. To be honest with you, I think I'm going to need some help. You may need help, but you don't need the certificate. No, okay? I'm not doing it for the certificate. Okay. I'm I are you talking about when you go to prison? Are you talking about when Yes. So yeah, when you go to prison, anybody can sit in the class and go through the class. Okay. But the reality of prison is that classes are really self-directed. You will always find somebody in the prison that is like a teacher. Like mm -hmm. I used to teach inside of prison and you know, it was informal. We'd just be three guys and we'd go through the book and I'd give them some lessons and they would work on it themselves and then we'd talk about it and learn. But it's really, learning is about taking action and doing. So if you got the book, you're always, you're going to be in a prison. There's going to be no fewer than 500 people there. And of those people, there's going to be some guys who really derive a sense of fulfillment by teaching others. It's the way they pass their time. So you'll have your book. They'll have a book. They'll work through exercises and you'll get, you'll develop your skill set. I mean, besides these little, the novels that like Patterson novels, or, you know, in the beginner yeah, books. Yeah, he's great. I get in, when I get to the, like, the more higher level educational book or like uh, vocabulary books, I got to read it two, three times for me to understand. I can't comprehend. I mean, that's, that's why I know I need to really work on my vocabulary. That was the same lesson that I wrote about that happened with me. I read yeah. the autobiography of Malcolm X. And when I was reading that book, I had to go to the dictionary all the time. But I didn't just move on. I would write down the word and then I would look up the definition and then I would memorize the definition. So in the course, you have, you guys are going to get this copy of this book, right? This is the workbook that accompanies this class. Okay. You're get these books? Well, I, 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 you can ask Mr. Johnson for the book, but isn't, aren't they giving you the PDFs every day? Yeah, we're, get, we're getting every day, uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. Okay, so all of that I've just compiled that into a book. Is that what the book is, consists of? Whatever we get, with the handouts that we're, that we're yeah, getting? Yeah, it's the same thing. I just turned that into a book. Parts. Okay, okay, okay. But if you look at the back of the book, it tells you that there's a vocabulary exercise. Mm -hmm. When I wrote this book, I purposely used some college-level words. And there I said, go through each chapter, write down 10 words, that's an action, right? I told you, look them up. And I told you, figure out how to use them in a sentence. That's how you build your vocabulary. At least that's how I built my vocabulary. When you said you wrote a thousand word essay every day. Every day. I mean, I mean what did you write about? And, 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 and did you, every word you chose, was it purposely from a dictionary word? I mean, no. Uh, First of all, I would create my own dictionary by writing down these words, just like you've learned in the course, right? 
in the course itself, if you go through the course, you see at the end of the course, there are a list of words, okay? You make your list of words. You look up your list of words. Then I would have a list of words. Now I told you, okay, learn how to use that word in a sentence, okay? Learn what it means and then learn how to use it in a sentence in your own words, okay? Then I would write an essay. So let's say that today you could go home, you go to your cell, say, okay, I'm going to write an essay. And that essay I'm going to write about, I had a conversation today about my desire to develop a higher level of education. You might say, I do have a high school education or I have a high school diploma, but I don't feel I know enough, so I need to learn more. So I asked Michael if I could participate in a GED program. And then you might say, I, Michael told me that I, wouldn't, I could participate in a program, but I would get more value just by asking other people to teach me when I'm in prison. And I worked through that. That's you all I'm doing. I'm writing an essay as we're talking. You also said you used flashcards, right? I did. I created my own flashcards because so, they didn't have them in the prison. So I would just write them down. Right on did you one just start side. from A to Z? Pardon? You just started from A to Z and like no, memorize everything? No, I would start by reading just like you're doing in this course. In this course, you are looking up words. And okay. like th there's a, there, one of the leaders of our course, it's Ahmad Zubari. He's, he's, he's written this book. And he's, in his book, he uses college-level words. And so you write down the words from the book. Then you write it in a sentence then you um, put it in your own words, like you write a story, just like he did. He's writing how he created a story. Okay. And by doing that, that's an action step. And that action step is going to give you more confidence. Like I, you said, how do I write a thousand word essay every day? Well, for me, it's easy now because of all the training I started doing when I was in jail. If you start doing all this training right now, won't you be more confident and more skilled when you come home and you're putting together a business plan. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's Absolutely. just work. That's how you work. You take these incremental steps. That's what you learn in this course. And in every book that I associate with this course, you're going to learn that from. I can't take, I can't take that with me or even if we get it. Can if I, you go to prisonprofessors.com, if you have your. In BOP? Well, I hope so. I'm trying. I can, I can order it, right? Yeah, it's just have your family go to prisonprofessors.com, right? And then I can get it through Amazon? Or, or I have well, to just go to, to prisonprofessors.com. And then I, you guys can mail it to the BOP? Yeah, well, we order it and it gets sent directly to wherever you are in the BOP. Okay. Okay. I got all kinds of books there to teach and inspire people in jail and prison. I got books. I've got courses. I got everything. So is it okay if I contact you? Uh, during my, my, my journey and then yeah what's the name what's the name of the website what do you mean your website yeah Pris prisonprofessors.com that's it go there that's how you connect with me <laughs> okay. okay all right so keep I any questions you're going to reply my to my emails or dude i got i got hundreds of thousands of people that's writing what I'm saying. I, 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 this is the way that I reply is i make these courses and videos i'll do the best that i can but every day i write content and every day I have courses. So if your family goes to prisonprofessors.com and they leave a message or they leave a message on YouTube, I fulfill it. I write it and then I send it into the jails and prisons. When you go to the prison, show them and then tell them, hey, we want to get these videos in here. And that's how you'll get them in there. Okay. All right. Sounds All good. right. All right. Thank you.